Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme data panel tutorial. This is our part number 25. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to modify archiveproduct.php, and this is the second video of that. Inside this, this time we are going to modify this archive-product.php by means action hook. Now, if I back to editor. In the last video, we have totally customized about archive-product.php and this is the file what we have placed inside our custom theme. Now if we back to browser, as we can see that this is well decorated SOAP page and this time it is using archive-product.php which is coming from our like custom theme. But is it possible? Or is there any way to actually customize archive-product.php without modifying this page? Yes, we have. If we want to customize this archive-product.php, if we suppose don't want to write our any piece of code inside this file, so without writing or without touching this file, also we can customize that. So how is it possible without touching we can modify so by means of using action hooks we can use and customize this archive-product.php So what I will do if I press Ctrl B let's say that if I rename this file something with the name of test and if I go here reload this page now this time it's totally distorted because this time this is the file which is coming from our plugins directory. As we know that we have customized our themes directory file so that's why it is now distorted. So we are going to actually make it as better layout by means of using action hooks without touching our plugin file or theme file. If I back to editor open up the file called functions.php inside this file we are going to write our action hooks press ctrl b to hide our sidebar now inside this functions.php first of all to understand completely about available action hooks inside woocommerce we need to install a plugin and that plugin is not only for woocommerce that plugin is going to give you all the available filters or hooks inside any of the WordPress pages. Now go inside admin panel, click on plugins, add new. And simply type inside this search plugin about simply so hooks. If I type simply so hooks, this is the name of the plugin. If I type this keyword, and it will go and search inside WordPress repository. Now if I scroll down inside this list, we will see a plugin called Simply So Hooks. And here it is. Simply we can install this plugin. So click on install now. It is installing to our WordPress system. We have to wait for a while. Successfully we have installed that plugin. If I click on activate button, to activate this plugin to our WordPress setup. After activating, if I redirect to any of the front page, it will load all the action hooks and filters available on that page. Plugin activated successfully. As we can see inside this list, back to our SOAP page. Now if I reload this page, As we can see inside this admin toolbar, here we have called simple so hooks. Right now, any of these not enabled. If we want to see all about available action hooks, simply click on that and click on so action hooks. Now I am clicking on that. Now as we can see that lots of comments is now presented inside this page, which we haven't haven't provided inside the template file. This is all the action hooks what is available inside this page. Now by the help of this like simply so hooks 
plugin loaded all the action hooks. Now inside this list or inside this page also as we know that inside this archive-product.php it is using footer.php, functions.php, header.php. So inside this functions.php as we know that we have used several hooks like if we go here we have action hook called WP in QS scripts in which we have loaded all of these styles feeds files as well as JavaScript files which is calling this function called simple bootstrap theme load scripts. So if we search this action hook inside this page so go here and search for WP in QS scripts and here it is. Now if I hover inside this list, as we can see that inside this pop-up menu, like here we have called simple bootstrap theme load scripts. It means that this is the function we have included inside our functions.php and it is loaded in inside this WP in QS scripts action hooks. Now in the same way we have multiple action hook which is also related with our WooCommerce. Here as we can see that WooCommerce before main content. If I back to our editor, now back to archive-product-test.php and let's say that if I scroll this page, now inside this page as we can see that WooCommerce before main content. Also here we have called WooCommerce sidebar means many more action hook is available inside this page. Also here we have called WooCommerce after main content. So if we want to customize this page without touching this file we need to use action hooks. Also from the previous video where we had discussed about add action as well as do action if I back to slide open a new tab. So let's say that here we have called add underscore action inside this add action here we have the action name so let's say action underscore name and here is the respective callback function so respective callback function and here we need to pass the priority of execution of this callback function so as we know that if we have this action hook then if we want to execute this action hook simply we need to use do action and what the action hook we have given here we can execute by this do action and here is the action name provided. So simply what we have discussed this is for the def definition means for defining and this is for calling. So simply if I back to editor, inside this file we have several hooks like WooCommerce sidebar. Here we have called WooCommerce before main content and many more. This is all the way for calling. So if we want to define its definition, what we have given here, we need to define a callback function which is going to define the structure or let's say its functionality. So what I will do if I back to browser first and disable this simply so hooks plugins from this page and after disabling this all the action hooks is now disabled or removed from this page. Now back to editor. Let's say that inside this functions.php as we know that first of all we need to add container as well as a row class like here what we have declared inside our archive product of themes directory. Now as we know that this is the layout actually we are getting from plugin so inside this page there is no container class as well as row class. So first thing first we need to add those container class as well as row class back to functions.php and here what I will do let's say that add container and let's say row class and before adding these classes what I will do I am to remove this WooCommerce sidebar from here later on we will add inside this page 
when we will make our columns grid. So to remove any action hook, we will have called remove action. And if we go inside this archive-product-test.php, here we have the action hook. So simply, if I copy that, pasting it here, and this action hook called WooCommerce sidebar is hooked up with this WooCommerce get sidebar function which has a priority of 10. Now if I copy this function, go here and passing inside this second parameter. Now if we save this functions.php, reload this page and as we can see that the sidebar is totally missing from this page. Now we are ready to add our container class as well as row class. So what I will do, let's say function, simply let's say add container row div classes. And this function I will call if we go inside this file four means of getting about the ID of our action hooks. So here we have before main content. So we want that this is the reason of main content so we want to open all that div at ever means we are going to use before main content so if i copy this action hook name go here and let's hit that add action here's the action name and inside this second parameter and to pass this callback function and here we need to de decide our priority of execution so if I back to browser and again I'm going to enable our simple so hooks. So click on enable and if I scroll down, so here is the action hook called WooCommerce before main content. And inside this, as we can see that lots of priority already have been decided or assigned. Something priority 10, priority 20 and priority 30. So if we want to execute our first function prior to all of these functions, to we have to keep less number of less number of count of priority value. So what I will do is if I disable this plugin back to editor, I will keep something like let's say five number value. This is going to decide the priority order and our function will execute prior all the defined functions because its priority is less and as we know that less count of priority value more execution priority order now inside this what I will do let's say echo inside this let's say div we are going to define container also we are going to define a div which contains the class let's say row we need to use single quotes row so this is all about to adding our container class and row class. So simply again I go here and what I will do if we go at the footer we have another action hook called after main content. So we want that after this main content also we want to close our container div as well as row div. So what I will do let's say function let's remove or let's say close here we need to let's say open we need to change the function name so here it's open it will be meaningful to understand the proper so close container row div classes and I'm going to use add action this is the action name after main content copy the callback function passing it here and this time also we are going to pass the priority execution of this function will be fifth number and inside this what I will do let's say echo simply we are going to close our div so this is for the row and this is for our container now if we save this change remember we haven't touched all about archive-product.php page now if I reload as we can see that the layout is something changed. Now if I inspect the changes, go here and as we can see that successfully we have added our container class as well as row class. Remember 
these are the elements we have created without touching our template file now if I go ahead and let's say add OWT container OWT row save these changes reload this page and here we can see that OWT container as well as OWT row so this is all about making the layout of our products page means listing of all the products so in the next video guys we will create for the sidebar as well as we will make some changes over this layout by means of using this action hook concept we are not going to touch the template file anymore so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop a comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.